Good morning, everyone. It is day two of my quarantine. It is breakfast time. It is even later than yesterday. Yesterday I ate dinner at around 11ish or 10:30, I think I said. And today I'm eating at 11. So lunch is coming in half an hour. So we have to eat this morning, though. Tony Toe is joining us. Woo! He's gonna be here eating breakfast with me. Um. I'll just show you what we got. Basically, very similar thing. So we got a fresh and fruity apricot and custard yogurt. A little muffin, fresh apple. This is morning tea, which is a granola bar. Oh my goodness, this granola bar is absolutely massive. How big, this is this muesli bar is as big as the chocolate cake that I ate yesterday. Do you see a tea? Look. Isn't it? Very big. I think this is going to be a very filling morning tea. Boop. And as promised, I don't know if you watched my other two videos, but I've been drinking a lot of orange juice. And I promised you guys today I was going to, I was going to zhuzh it up a little bit. So here we have apple juice. <laughs> Should we try this and see if it's as good as the OJ? So I know if I have to reorder the OJ tomorrow. Ooh. That's sweet. I don't know if I like it better than the OJ though. We have to see. And of course, we have wheat bakes. I already put it in the bowl. If you want to see what the package looks like, you can watch yesterday's video. As I said, it's a classic. But yesterday I had it with bananas. Today I got an apple. Can't really cut that up into my cereal. So usually I kind of do this and then I like to just crush it up a little bit. I like it a little bit. But as I said yesterday, smudgy. Bon appetit. Hey T, look at my breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not really a taste test because I already know what it tastes like. Mmm. But yeah, once again, I'm in my sports gear. Did a little workout this morning. I know it's kind of gross to be wearing the same active wear, especially I'm also wearing like the same shorts as well. But you know, we only get laundry once a week. So <laughs> got to make the most of it. But hey, look guys, look at this tan that I have. We all, we all know that's gonna leave by the time I um, leave. The tan doesn't leave. We all know that the tan's gonna disappear by the time I finish quarantine, but you know, it's nice to document it for now. <laughs> mm. So on today's agenda, at 1.30, I have my uh, daily nurse appointment. Yesterday there was a bit of mishap with, or miscommunication with the timing. And someone from the army actually knocked on my door and was like, Hi, don't forget you have your appointment right now. And it was just so surreal to have someone from the army just knocking on your door. I was like, oh, hello. Very interesting um, experience, honestly. Besides that, hopefully I'll get some admin done today. Continue editing and chilling. Also, I found out this morning that Pizza Hut was closing down 300 of their stores. Did you know that, T? I did not know that. Pizza Hut is closing down 300 of their stores, like worldwide, because they um, declared bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. So if any of you guys want Pizza Hut, get it now. I'm gonna finish my cereal, which is nearly done. Eat my apple. We probably won't have time to eat morning tea, so I'm gonna have to have the granola bar later. Um, but I will see you at lunchtime. What's up, friends? It is lunchtime. Yes, once again, Mr. Tony Toe is here. We got the menu. I have been excited about eating this all day. Uh, I say that with every single meal, but you know, what else can I possibly be excited for? What day is it today, T? It's Friday. I got it. I got it. For lunch today, we have trusty apple juice. This is it. I have already looked at it because I was that excited. This is vermicelli salad with chili prawns, capsicum, red onion, and coriander. I know. Doesn't that look absolutely amazing? Are you getting pulled over? Oh no. Wait, what? I thought you were getting pulled over. <laughs> No, I'm definitely not getting prawn over. <laughs> it smells very nice. I should probably eat a prawn first, right? Mmm. It's got like a, a tempura feel to it because I think they've fried it in like a batter. First bite, let's see. 
Mmm. A little bit on the bland side, but very refreshing. And the prawns are huge. Look at this prawn, guys. It's massive. It's so big. Mmm. I'm actually kind of glad I got apple juice. I think it goes better with the salad. But get excited because tonight, guys, we got lamb shank for dinner. Woo! there for that. I'm so excited for this lamb shank of yours. Yeah, we're definitely going to FaceTime each other because I don't think you've ever seen me eat lamb shank before. I don't think no, I've ever had lamb shank. I don't think it's that lamb. I'm be honest with you. No, because sometimes it has like that gamey taste, but a it was either that or a vegetarian bean sausage. So I was like, yeah, let's definitely go for the lamb shank. <laughs> mm. How would you rate this lunch? I'm going to say again, it's going to be a 6 out of 10. It's got a lot of ingredients in there, but it's just a little bit... There's not as much flavor as I would prefer. Yeah. I'm going to continue eating this. Maybe when I come back, I'll have some afternoon tea. It's afternoon tea time. I've gone for a little walk and I had my little nurse's appointment today. Um, it went super well, super fast. And the walk was very gloomy and rainy, but you know, it's still nice to just have a little, have a little walk around. But it is now time for afternoon tea. Since I decided not to have the red velvet cake today, that was today's afternoon tea, I asked them if I could have some extra fruit, so they've given me that. And I'm gonna put some of the granola bar in it too. I'll probably eat some more later, but in the meantime, I just wanted to try and see what it all tastes like together first. <laughs> So that's what it looks like. Let's get a bit of everything. Mmm. I mean, I guess you can't really go wrong with yogurt, fruit, and granola, right? Mmm. Not too bad. Lamb shank has arrived. <laughs> We have the menu for next week. They even emailed the menu to us. This is basically what we get to choose from. <gasps> I see dumplings. Oh my goodness. We have dumplings next week. Babe, <laughs> there's dumplings next week. Okay, anyways. Lamb shank tonight. We got apple juice. Whoa, this is heavy. The lamb shank. Yeah, I'm excited. I've showered, I've got my pajamas on already and it's only 6.30, but I ain't got anywhere to go, so. The silence is killing me. They have literally given me an entire lamb shank with mashed potatoes and some peas. Okay, so it doesn't fall off the bone. I may or may not have to use my hands to tackle this thing. Okay, I've moved to the table, so now we can actually cut this up and try a little slice of it. Ooh, goodness me. First bite, let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. So you can't imagine it being like the fall of the bone kind of type of lamb meat, um, as you can tell. <laughs> but. This is definitely a lot more filling of a dinner compared to yesterday. At least it's, it's good though, right? Yeah. I don't know if you can tell, it's not like as tender, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't think it's bad. I really do like the gravy or the sauce that comes with it. It's definitely not bland of, of anything. I would definitely rate this around 7 out of 10, you guys. Ta-da! I managed to pick it up. Look at how big that is. Oh my goodness. Should we just go for one bite to end the day? Mmm. Oh dang. Oh wow. I'm gonna have a lot of fun eating this dinner tonight. We've got the Simpsons on in the background. I've got Tony here. Thank you so much for watching this video today, day two. Tomorrow, guys, I'm getting tested for COVID. So, but until then, don't forget to like and subscribe for this video. And I will literally see you tomorrow. Bye!